guys, Scorpio, it's Nicola. So this is your weekly read. This will be from, from March the 8th through March the 14th, 2020. Ooh. Well, there we go, Scorpio. <laughs> we got 11, 11 messages and numbers. Let's see what we have for that. I'm going to try to keep my glasses on today because I want to keep taking them on and off. We're going to see how it works. If I get irritated, they come in the fuck off. Um, it says the universe is speaking to you through numbers from 1111 on your phone to the repeating number patterns that catch your eye. Information is being transmitted from the creative universal intelligence into your cellular awareness. You may feel energetic healing as you receive these transmissions of number frequencies. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Scorpio, the moon rising in Venus. This will be for March the 8th through March the 14th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for March the 8th, March the 9th, March the 10th, March the 11th, March the 12th, March the 13th, and March the 14th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? See, we got so we have the two of wands, they already get on my nerves. They moving on down the bridge of my nose, make my nose like this. <laughs> All right, so two of wands as an underlying energy. Some of you guys are at a crossroads here, maybe dealing with some regrets or either a loss in pleasure in regards to a situation or in regards to just where you are in life. I feel like you're coming into your own domain, maybe even deciding to go down a new path. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands here Sunday. I do feel like you could be acting off of your impulses, acting off of your desires, maybe closing out a cycle. For some of you guys, you're rushing to close out this cycle because you're very much coming into your own dominion. High Priestess here, I feel like you're following the internal knowledge that you have within yourself. Okay. To Wednesday, we have... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have the Four of Cups. Yes, some of you guys know that you're just in an unhappy state, unhappy situation. I feel like right now you're just trying to focus on nurturing your own cup. So you're trusting your intuition, maybe even ending a cycle of some sort, moving into Ace of Pentacles, this new type of existence. Look at the similarities here. Some of you guys are moving into a new existence. You're trusting your intuition. Something makes you unhappy at the moment. So you're choosing, and I saw that five of cups, you're choosing happiness because you've lost an interest in a cycle, a previous cycle. So six of wands, this is you moving toward victory here. Saturday, we have the three of pentacles here. I think you're putting things in motion for yourself. Four of pentacles creating a firm foundation for you. All right, Scorpio, do the damn thing. So we have the Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? 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 We got the Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're moving forward, escaping an imbalanced situation. Things are picking up for you. Some of you guys may even be back and forth about what it is that you desire or what it is that you want with the Seven of Swords here. But that cycle is complete. So I feel like if there was a lot of back and forth in regards to anything in your life, there's no more. You're really escaping that, moving toward balance again. I feel like you're nurturing yourself while you finished the cycle last week. We had nurture yourself and this week it looks like that's exactly what you're doing um i feel like you're in a space of again nurturing your own cup you're in a space of wanting to fill your own cup trusting your intuition i feel like you're moving forward you're moving forward towards something that's abundant something that is in cooperation with your path right now so we have the world card here for monday why is this world card here for monday why is this world card here for monday we have the chariot in reverse. Some of you guys are, I feel like you, you've lost the motivation to stay in something. So you are coming into your own dominion. Hang man, your perspective has changed around a situation. Queen of Swords, you're seeing the truth around something that caused you to have some anxiety. I feel like in the past you may have lacked the confidence, maybe feeling as though having anxiety that you have made the wrong choice in regards to something. You're no longer in a space of feeling like that. Some of you guys know that you've made the right choice in regards to something. So you're, again, following your intuition and closing a cycle. All right, so we got the High Priestess here for Tuesday. Why is the High Priestess here for Tuesday? Why is the High Priestess here for Tuesday? We got the Hermit card here. Could be dealing with the Virgo. This could also be you following your higher guidance. The Hermit talks about that higher guidance. It talks about you going within yourself and really being in communion with, with higher awareness as well as being in communion with your guides, with your healers, with, you know, 
God it's about really being in touch. So for a lot of you guys, you went within yourself. You contemplated, you meditated, and now you're trusting your intuition. Again, being nurturing. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, but this could also be you in the space of healing yourself, knowing that you need to heal and that you have the ability to heal. Some of you guys allowing your concerns to fade away with something, really wanting to move toward happiness. You feel like it's time for you to move toward happiness. So you're allowing yourself to really follow, again, your own internal knowledge, your higher knowledge. And move away from a cycle that caused you to feel less than happy. Alright, so we have the Four of Cups. Why is this Four of Cups here? Why is this Four of Cups here? Why is this Four of Cups here? We have the Death card here with the Eight of Swords. Some of you guys, yes. Some of you guys are putting an end to a lack of confidence or an end to some type of restriction within your life, whether the restriction be mental or whether it be an actual interference towards you choosing to be happy. I feel like you're perfecting your own emotions in regards to a situation, bringing balance to your life. Two of Cups, this has to do with the relationship. Some of you guys, I feel like you had a back and forth relationship or a relationship that you may have rushed into because the Knight of Wands also talks about acting off impulse. So if you acted off impulse, rushed into a relationship, some of you guys may have realized that it doesn't make you happy. So you may be in a space of really being, you know, washing your hands with it, understanding that this was a learning process. I've learned what I needed to learn from this situation and I am moving forward toward victory for myself. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Four, three of Pentacles that is moving toward victory, cooperating with higher guidance with the universe or either putting things in motion in regards to perfecting your own foundation. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here for Thursday. Draining. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for Thursday? We have the Eight of Cups. Some of you guys, you definitely walked away from something. You you were at a crossroads here, but you made the decision. It looks like to walk away from a confusion situation, something that was an illusion. Maybe you realized that it was, whatever you had was not real. Listen, this don't have to be. When I say relationship, it doesn't have to be romantic. But I feel like this is a romantic relationship because I saw the Two of Cups. But it can be a platonic relationship. It can be a friendship. It can be a partnership, um, like a, a work partnership. Whatever the case, whatever it is, you're very much in the space of walking away, being at a crossroads, seeing that this situation may not have been as clear as it should have been or as real as it, sh it should have been. So you're finding your strength to move into this new life. And I feel like that, that choice, it is bringing you again victory six of wands here why is the six of wands here we have the nine of wands so i do feel like for a lot of you guys you're overcoming your disappointment with the situation your disc discontentment with the situation and you're creating change so this for a lot of you guys you've been in a space of feeling discontent with the situation because you've stayed in it out of pride this over with. You're no longer in the space of staying, staying in something because of your pride. You're making the best decision for yourself, overcoming a lackluster situation, a situation that makes you unhappy, and creating the change necessary in your life to put things in motion, moving toward your abundance. Three of Pentacles here. Could also be done with the Libra. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? We have Emperor here with the King of Swords. So I do feel like you're taking control, mastering your own emotions in regards to the situation. You could also be cutting away a partner emperor is a masculine energy king of swords it could be uh could be a, a male figure that you're in the space of cutting away but i i this is the first actual masculine energy i've seen so this may be a feminine that i'm reading about that is in the space of cutting away someone that is maybe detached maybe controlling creating imbalances creating lack two plus three is five pentacles that is a lack situation someone could have felt left out in the cold or you could be in the space of leaving someone out in the cold because you have lost your desire here five uh, king of wands in reverse some of you guys have lost desire i feel like you lost interest in the situation so you're completing a cycle with it <laughs> whoa whoa i'll be all right so let's see what messages we have moving forward i'm gonna bring this here because i want to make sure y'all hear me what messages do we have moving forward for scorpio sun moon rising and venus what messages what guidance do we have <laughs> for scorpio it's 222 on my let me put that here it's 222 on my clock so you're very much in alignment with the right path what messages, what guidance do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving forward. What messages, what guidance do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus moving forward. 
Give me guidance for Scorpio. We got creation here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, yeah. Whew, you're moving quickly. Validity, movement, creation. Some of you guys are, you've been dreaming about creating a certain, a certain type of energy within your life. So now you're really taking action and moving toward that. You're acting off your impulses. You want harmony in your life. So you're changing in order to bring or create that harmony within your life so whatever cycle you've been dealing with is complete you're getting on the right path you're in alignment with creating the life you deserve in alignment with your path this is all i have peace y'all